What is going on, everyone? Anthony Cofrancesco from Data Dive, and this is the Quick Start Guide. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the listing builder. Now, this is one of my favorite areas about Data Dive because it allows you to build title, bullets, and description totally from scratch, and it's all based on our proprietary metric, which is ranking juice. You won't find this on any other software tool. And it's a reason people really love data dive so much. So when I'm here, let me just give you a quick tour around the software. We have the fields where we can write our title, our bullets, description, search terms, et cetera. And then on the right-hand side here, we have our listing ranking juice leaderboard. So as I start to type into the fields on the left-hand side, it's going to update and it's going to give me a ranking overall where I am in my title how I compare to competitors in the bullets and description. We have two different views here for the data. We have roots, usage, and hits, and we have battle of the listings. So if you're starting from scratch, I'm gonna show you how you can automate a lot of this work. Keep in mind that you do have to have a clean master keyword list when you start doing these automations or else the software won't work properly. Be sure to check out our other video in the Quick Start playlist. That is the master keyword list video. So let's start with building our title. I'm gonna click on this optimize button on the right hand side. And what this tool is going to do is it's going to keyword stuff the title up to 60%. So in this case, it's gonna fill up to 120 keywords with keywords stuffing the title. So I'm gonna click optimize. I'm gonna wait just a minute. And you can see here that if I'm looking at my roots usage and hits, this is the column that's tracking my title. And I can see I'm getting a bunch of exact matches. If I hover over each of these circles, I can get a definition for this is exact, this is exact plural, this is broad, this is broad plural, et cetera. So out of the 217 keywords in my master keyword list, I'm already indexed for a large number of them. And if I look at my leaderboard here on the right-hand side and look at title, I can see that just from that alone, I'm already in position number one with 7.5 million ranking juice. Now you might be looking at this title and saying, Anthony, I can't upload this title into Amazon. There's still more work that needs to be done and you would be right. So what I can do is I can type in my brand name. In this case, I'm gonna call it Anthony's Essentials. I can add in some dashes, right? And I have plenty of space because I've only used up to 120 characters in my title to write more special words that, <laughs> that make title readable, right? So I've got plenty of space to work with. I can change this around if you're not that comfortable with keyword stuffing or you're just adamantly opposed to it. Hint, hint, this is how Amazon's algorithm works. So, you know, I'm not going to disagree with anyone on that. But if you want to make it more readable, you've got plenty of characters to make that happen. Now, we can't apply the same strategy for bullets and description. We actually do need these bullets and descriptions to be natural, like they were written by a human. So what I can do for those sections is I can click on this AI copywriter button and instead of keyword stuffing the bullets in the description, our AI tool is gonna look at what keywords have already been utilized in the title and what are the remaining keyword roots that have the largest aggregate search volume. And it's gonna start to place them into the bullets and say, make me bullet points that sound like a human wrote it that are based on these keyword roots. So we're gonna give this another minute and bam, it looks like it's already done. So. Now I can look here at the bullet points and I can see I've got these nicely worded bullets. I can come down here to the description and I can see we've got even more keywords that are written here. And uh, again, written in a, in, a, in a pretty smooth way down in the description. So if I look back at the leaderboard, I can see overall from a ranking juice perspective, I'm in position number one. For my title, I'm in position one. For bullets, I think we could do a little bit more work on this. I'm in position 10. And then for my description, I'm in position four. So if we wanted to take a deeper look at the bullets, I can click on the AI bullets button here. And you can see here that 
For some reason, the AI didn't put in a keyword for bullet two. Sometimes this is the nature of working with AI. So one of the things I can do is click this optimize button. And what this should do is pull in another keyword. In this case, it didn't. So I'm actually just gonna go to back to my master keyword list and I'm gonna go to the roots tab and I'm gonna manually grab another keyword that I think is gonna be important. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna go with cat condo. We'll see if it's already been used. I don't see cat condo here, cat condo for indoor cats. Just for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna add in cat condo and then I'm gonna click generate. You can add in your own keywords here, right? You can keep clicking this optimize button and it should pull in additional other keywords. And what you're gonna see is that now the AI, I'm gonna get to see exactly how this works. I'm gonna see what the input keyword was, the bullet point that was created from that, and then the ranking juice for each bullet point, right? So bam, here we've got input keyword, AI copywriter output, and then our ranking juice per bullet point. Now, the reason Cat Condo is not giving me any additional ranking juice is because most likely, and I'm just gonna click use in listing. Most likely Cat Condo I can see here is already in the title. So a lot of people are gonna ask like, Anthony, when I move a keyword from my title to my bullets or from my bullets to description, my ranking juice, it changes. And it changes by more than what the ranking juice shows if I go to this column over here. And the reason why is how ranking juice is calculated is there's a match type multiplier and there's a listing position multiplier. So the match type multiplier is just saying that exact matches are gonna get the most credit, followed by exact plural, followed by broad, so, so on and so on and so on. There's also a listing position multiplier where the title is gonna give you 3X ranking juice, the bullets is gonna give you 2X ranking juice, and the description is gonna give you 1X ranking juice. So I can't have a keyword in my title and then also in my bullets because I can only get credit for a keyword one time. So what I would probably wanna do in this case is go back into the AI bullets button and I would just wanna get rid of cat condo. I'd wanna find another keyword root that I wanna prioritize and I would rewrite that bullet point. So that's a pretty quick rundown into how to create a listing from scratch. You can see here that if I go to my roots usage and hits, I'm gonna scroll over a little bit on this left-hand side and I can see that my title is pretty well filled out. I've got some coverage in my bullets that I think could be a little bit better. And then I've got my description over here on the right-hand side. But this is the quick start guide. So we try to give a comprehensive explanation of each part of the tool. What do you do if you've got a product that's already selling and you don't wanna start from scratch? So let me go back to my master keyword list and I'm gonna pull an example of a product here and show you how I would optimize that listing. So I've been looking at this one recently and it's for this brand TS Common. And what I've done is I've looked at my master keyword list and I've found that I've got a lot of gaps, areas in my master keyword list where I'm not indexed or my rank is low. And it seems to be related to the keyword root for large or large cat. And in fact, if I go here and I type in large, I can see that there's 35 keywords in my master keyword list related to large. And almost all of them, I have very low ranks or I'm not indexed at all. So if I was trying to improve this product, I don't need to start totally from scratch. All I need to do is see, are these gaps in my master keyword list also gaps in the listing? So I can come over here to the listing builder. I'm gonna clear all of my data. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the title section and I'm gonna find the title for TS Common which is here. Now, overall position, they have 5.4 million ranking juice compared to the highest sellers in this niche, about 6.9 million. But I don't wanna change everything. You can see this brand has been around for only one year and one month, but the longer a listing has been around, we wanna work with a scalpel instead of a machete. We don't wanna go and change everything all at once when we're doing listing optimization. So all I wanna do is I just wanna see 
okay, is my listing, do I have, I saw gaps in my master keyword list for keywords related to large. I wanna see if those gaps are also here in the listing. So just like before, I'm gonna type in large. I can see here's the 35 keywords and look at what I've got here. For my title, I don't have coverage for any of these keywords whatsoever. So if I wanted to just do a little bit of work, I don't wanna start from scratch in this listing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of, let's see here, green cat scratching posts. I don't wanna remove anything that's giving me ranking credit. I wanna be careful of that so I don't get de-indexed for any keywords. But let's just see if like hang ball and leaf shape, hat furniture pet, we got 31 and a half inch. What I, I know that no one's searching for green or that's gonna be a small search volume keyword or broad. I think cat scratching posts, I can see, we can see like what's gonna be the ranking juice impact. Scratching posts is gonna be a bigger one. Let's see here. Nothing for scratching posts, right? We do have scratching post, but not scratching posts plural. So for right now, I'm gonna remove this and let's see how it impacts our ranking juice. We're at 5.9 million. This is gonna drop only to 5.8 million, right? So we only went down 70,000. So now I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna go back here for large. I'm gonna copy this keyword for cat tree for large cat. I'm gonna paste this in and we're gonna see how does this impact our ranking juice. Now we go up to 6.1 million. And then for all of these keywords related to large, instead of having no indexing, no matching, we have a few exact matches. We've got a lot of broad. We've got some exact plural for a lot of different keywords. And that was only after adding four keywords. Now, I don't know enough about this product. Maybe for some reason this, um, this product actually isn't applicable to large cats. Maybe this is just for small cats. This is just for the purpose of the training, but the process would still be the same. You would go in your master keyword list, try to identify any gaps. If you saw gaps in the master keyword list, you would go and see if those exact, if those gaps rather exist in the listing builder, and then you would fix them one at a time. The workflow would be, you would move your way down this list. I'm gonna get rid of this. You would move your way down this list and find bigger and bigger gaps. So I could look at cat condo for large cats. If I was this seller, I'd keep moving down the list and say extra large cat tree. Again, another large keyword. You can see here, XL cat tree, just a different way of saying extra large. These all could be potential gaps in this seller's product. The lower search volume that you're ranked for, right? you're gonna see more gaps in your master keyword list. This is just another view of seeing the data. It's battle of the listings, still quite helpful. I can just filter by title, bullets, or description, and I can see this is my title, the one that I'm working on, and I can see exact matches. I can see what keywords I might be missing out on or what keywords I have that other sellers don't have. When I'm optimizing, I'm just gonna grab one of these keywords way down at the bottom, one of these products way down at the bottom, the low performer, 3.2 million ranking juice. So I'm gonna paste this in here and you can see here that Roy Pet, uh, they don't really have a lot going on in their title. So if I wanted to start just, hey, what should I do to optimize this from a ranking juice perspective? One of the things that I really like to do is I can see this column here for remaining ranking juice. And so if I filter, I can see that just adding this keyword, large cat tree tower, if I copy it and then paste it here, I'm gonna expect my ranking juice for this listing to go from 3.2 million, and I'm gonna expect this to go up like another 2.4 million. Because remember, in your title, you're gonna get 3x ranking juice credit. So I've copied that, let's just paste this here, and let's see where does our listing go up to, right? went up about 2.4 million, now we're at 5.8 million. So just with one change in my listing, I've gone from being like position 25, now I'm mid-pack in position 14. If I keep filtering by remaining ranking juice, I can see, wow, if I add in cat tower with scratching post, again, this is another keyword that I can add in. And this is just a great way to chew through the data and figure out what are the keywords, the keyword roots, that have the most potential ranking juice, right? That are, that's still left on the table.
And so now with just two changes to my title, I've jumped from being in position 25 all the way up to position one for my title. Now, if this is an existing brand, I'd want to take some additional time and make sure that these areas that I'm adding keywords into, if I'm already indexed and ranked highly for these keywords, like cat tower with scratching post, maybe I don't need to, you know, I don't need to actually put those in and I would focus on other keywords or other relevant keyword routes. One more thing that I want to mention is you can see we've got this total ranking juice per character, right? And also remaining ranking juice per character. So sometimes you're going to see that you can actually go and use shorter keywords and get a larger impact. So I really like playing around with these columns, remaining ranking juice, the total ranking juice per character. And uh, it's going to give you a quick idea of how to quickly jump up in the ranks. You want these to be for relevant keywords and that's about it. All right. I hope you found this video to be helpful. That's where we're going to wrap up for today and we'll see you in the next video.